welcome to the backyard garden. This is mid-May. Uh, for anybody who is on the naturalizing your backyard walk, here are the leaves that I put on and I'm just leaving them there. Uh, trying to set up for making a path later on in the season. I've been kind of clearing the way for what's around here so that I can put in um, maybe some rock or maybe some uh, uh, native seedlings somewhere in and around the fire pit so that we can have um, maybe some nice things to walk on that would be good for us instead of grass. Uh, over here you'll see the grass is growing. I have some dandelions. Uh, what I tend to do is I leave the dandelions a little bit until they go white and then I just kind of um, take the heads off of them. So at the moment I kind of, if you go closer to a place where I've been, I might kind of, um, I'll give you an example, there's some dandelions in and around here and I let them go and then I just rip off the tops whenever they tend to go white. I don't get everything, but as long as I get the vast majority, it tends to kind of um, leave room for any of the grass seed or any of the clovers or anything that's in there to take over. Um, I've put in some self heal that's been kind of spreading all throughout the garden as well, as well as more clover. So I'm hoping that will take off. Uh, the garden is getting quite green as you can see and um, the rain garden has been seeded in the front so little um, perennials and annuals will come up all along here where we built the rain garden. Um, there are some bleeding hearts and violets up as well as some dandelions and there's a little bit of um, uh, chickweed in the grass and uh, the um, the pollinators have been busy in the backyard. Um, yeah, the back, if you go over here into the wildflower garden, you can see it's blossoming. Now, the grass is growing quite tall around there, so we'll probably um, mow maybe at the end of May, something like that. And then this will become more pronounced. But in here, we have some. Um, daisy and chamomile and we have some sweet william, some phlox, uh, we have some nodding onion, we have some anise hyssop and uh, we have some um, black-eyed susan that'll be coming up so and some columbine and if we head over here to the uh, newest part of the garden uh, this is the native nursery, so as I said before, the, the squirrels kind of took away my um, labels, so I don't quite know what I have in here, but I know they're all native, and I know that I'll be able to identify them and then slowly spread them over time. And so the yard is looking lovely. There's the cat tied up. And uh, we'll do the bird's eye. 